Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Well, you're probably missing my usual intro. That's because I'm on the road right now, but no worries. I have a bunch of videos lined up for you guys and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay, enjoy the video. Okay, everybody, well, we're in Marvelous Designer 9.5. It's uh, been a while since I did a Marvelous Designer video, so we're gonna take this uh, nice and slow, right? This is gonna be a beginner's tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to create a simple scarf and how to tack that into place and, uh, you know, apply some fabric and so forth, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up an avatar. So we're gonna go to File, we're gonna go to Add and Avatar. And I'm going to choose a female avatar and let's go with uh, Mera. And open that up. Give that a sec and there you go. Right, there she is on the left in 3D view, on the right in 2D view. Now, what we need to do first is uh, create the basic shape for our scarf. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go to our polygon tool up here. And we're going to start to create something that is quite long but also much thicker than just the dimensions of her neck or throat, right? Something like that, all right? Reason for that is we want it to look like a fabric and like a scarf and not like a ribbon, right? Okay, so now we have that in our 2D view. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start to position it closer towards her body. So we're gonna use the gizmo, we're gonna move it in and we're gonna go until we basically touch her neck right okay now you don't want this to sit that high so we're gonna bring it down just a little bit using the gizmo but what we're also gonna do is we're gonna tack this in the middle so let's pull it back just a little bit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the middle of the scarf let's click outside we're gonna hold down W on our keyboard we're gonna click once right here and then we're gonna move around and we're gonna find a similar spot on her neck. So again, hold W and click right there. There you go. So now if we go in and we hit simulate, you'll see that it will drop, but it will not drop to the floor. So we tacked it into place there, right? Okay, now from here on, it's kind of a um, finicky process because what you need to do is kind of grab the scarf and manually wrap it around, just left click and drag, and then drop that, right? And then get it over the shoulder and try to position it in a way that it's right side up and so forth. And you might spend some time on that, right? Okay, so we got that. This end is longer. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to wrap that around. And let's not go behind her back. Let's go over her shoulder like this, or try to at least. And you might have to do a couple of tries here to get it right. But we're starting to get there. Let's pull this in. And we wanna flip this around. And that's usually the tricky part okay we'll get there let's just have it fall in place there you have it now you can see that piece is uh, a lot longer so we're going to start to move this up and you don't want to push the other one out of the way so even if we have to move it up here like this let's see if we can make that happen and drop it and then in the front you want to flip that back again so we have the right side up like a this all right very nice okay so that doesn't look bad at all now uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go into the settings so let's first see if we can change the fabric here so I'm gonna click on add fabric and actually let's go to our library and let's go and see fabric and let's take this right here and drag and drop there you go. 
So that's in place, as you can see. And what I typically like to do is add a little bit of thickness to the scarf to make it look a little bit more real, right? As you can see here, it's quite thin. So we're gonna select this guy, we're gonna go in here. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is particle distance. And this is something you typically do at the end when you're almost done, is you reduce that number to make the particle distance closer together to improve the quality of your textile or fabric, right? So I'm gonna change this to, let's say, five, and we'll, um, it will work out here. As you can see, we're now seeing additional creases here, which is kind of cool. See that? Yeah. And then also what I wanna do is I wanna add some thickness here. So the thickness right now is set to 2.5. Let's set that to 15. And then we'll set that to 15 as well. Yeah. And let's re-simulate. And you can see that it's now looking a lot less like paper and more like actual fabric, right? And then what you can do is you can grab this guy if you want and kind of pull it down. Now, if you want what you can do, and I don't necessarily recommend it, but what you can do is add some um, elastic properties to it, right? It's not settling just yet. I think that might be a bit much. Let's do five and five. Let's re-simulate. Yeah, cool, not looking too bad. All right, so we got that. You can then go in here and you can kind of, uh, oh, start our simulation again. You can kind of um, position it in the neck specifically in the way you like it if you want right just be playful with that and uh, make it look good this is dropping as you can see and it's all turning out fine okay so that's a very simple and easy way to do that so the takeaway here is that the fact that you can add thickness to make it more look uh, make it look more realistic and that you can tack fabric into place so you have something to position it with right Okay, that's basically it for this short little video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more Marvel's Designer videos. I'd be happy to do so. Just give me some ideas, right? Well, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.